Introduction to liver function tests. Liver function tests are requested in a number of situations. This video will provide a brief introduction as to what enzymes and synthetic functions are analysed when LFTs are requested. Aspartate aminotransferase. AST is found in the liver, kidneys, heart, skeletal muscle and red blood cells. It normally circulates the body in low levels. When severe damage has occurred, levels will rise after 6 to 10 hours and will remain elevated for around 4. Levels will rise when there is damage to the liver, heart or skeletal muscle. When levels are 10 to 20 times higher than normal, it is usually due to an MI or alcoholic cirrhosis. When levels are 20 times higher than normal, it can be attributed to viral hepatitis, drugs or autoimmune hepatitis. Alanine aminotransferase. ALT is found mostly in the liver, but also in small amounts in the kidneys and heart. Levels in children are twice that of adults. Levels of ALT fluctuate normally throughout the day. Higher circulating levels are specific for liver damage. When levels are 50 times higher than normal, it's usually due to viral or drug hepatitis. Alkaline phosphate. ALP is found in the hepatocytes lining the hepatic duct, but is also found in bone, intestines and placenta. High levels can be attributed to conditions where bone turnover is high. For example, adolescence, the third trimester of pregnancy, bony mets or fractures. High levels are also associated with liver disease and very high levels are seen with a bile duct blockage. Bilirubin. Bilirubin comes from the heme breakdown in red blood cells. It can either be unconjugated, which binds with albumin to circulate the body and is then taken up by hepatocytes, or it can be conjugated, which is created in the liver. Conjugated bilirubin is water-soluble and is then excreted in the urine. Total and conjugated bilirubin can be measured directly, however unconjugated bilirubin must be calculated from the two aforementioned values. When unconjugated bilirubin is high, it's indicative that red blood cell breakdown is greater than the liver's ability to conjugate it, and this is often seen in hemolysis, such as sickle cell disease, and Gilbert syndrome. When conjugated bilirubin is high, it is because the flow of bilirubin is disrupted, possibly due to an extrahepatic or intrahepatic disruption or a chronic liver disease. Albumin. Albumin is the main protein made by the liver. Levels of albumin decrease with liver disruption. It is not a useful marker in the acute stages of disease because it has a half-life of 20 days. INR. This is a standardised version of a prothrombin time test. It measures how long it takes for the blood to clot. Clotting factors are made by the liver, so clotting time increases in liver dysfunction. Gamma glutamyl transpeptidase. GGT is primarily found in the kidney, the liver and pancreatic cells. It raises significantly with obstructive jaundice, cholangitis, cholecystitis and alcohol abuse. It rises less so with hepatocellular disease. GGT is useful for indicating whether the source of raised ALP is due to hepatic problems or other problems.